Welcome to Solo Moms Talk TV. I'm Jay Rosemarie. Today's video features an interview with mindset and productivity coach, Susan Stutzel. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Hi, Susan. Hello. Uh, I hope I didn't butcher your name. <laughs> <laughs> no, you nailed it. Okay. Thank you very much for coming and talking to me today. So mindset and productivity. I also read uh, a description of what you do. You specialize in helping professional women work less so they can love their life again. Yeah. I like that. But before we get into what you do, Tell us who you are. Yeah, I uh, am a CPA. I started out my career like going after the my my CPA certificate. I put myself through college and worked hard on that. So I'm pretty pretty driven and focused in what I do. And I found myself about age thirty with two um, with a baby and a toddler at home. And all of a sudden, I was like, I had this amazing pace going. I was like killing it at work. And adding a family on top of that, all of a sudden, like this pace that I had set out was no longer sustainable. And I just found mm -hmm. that I was trying to do everything at this like super high, you know, I had super high expectations for myself. I was trying to do all these things really just, just perfect is really the word that I use. And, and I kind of cringe when I say that because I realize what that, uh, what that does to uh, me, what that does to so many mm -hmm. of us. Uh, when we set out like that. And so, of course, you know, just adding children to the mix was, well, now I want to be perfect at that, right? I want healthy meals on the table. I want the clean house. I want, you know, great relationships. Like I was trying to do all of the things for all of the people and completely putting myself last. And it just wasn't, it wasn't working. Like I remember a, mm -hmm. a specific day, I just walked into my bedroom and I cried. I was like, I can't keep doing this. And so that's why yeah. I love working with women, especially women who are working and also taking care of their families. Because I know, like, I know that we want to do things and be really great and do a great job with our families. And we shouldn't have to feel like we're always failing at everything. So I uh, yeah. coach specifically uh, women who uh, really just want to have that balance in their life again. So I, I coach to overcome overwhelm. And I use that term, it's just, it means so much to me because that's where I was. I just was in a state of overwhelm. Yes. And I, I do believe that we can and should have an abundant life and that we really can do all of the things, but we have to be intentional about what we're doing so that we're not running ourselves ragged. Yes, for sure. It's really ironic that women are real, really high achievers, but we, we don't think that about ourselves. We put all this pressure on ourselves. We're not good enough. We're not good enough. But yet we, we are in reality, very, very high achievers and we expect yeah. a lot of ourselves. Um, <laughs> so I'm glad you recognize that and kids will do that to you. They'll, <laughs> they'll make you face reality, right? <laughs> well, like it's so great, right? We add these babies into our lives and it's so amazing and it's so hard at the same time. And yeah, yeah. all of a sudden I was, yeah. I was still trying to keep up the same pace, but also like, I wanted to be a great mom. I want to have amazing kids. And I just realized that I couldn't mm -hmm. keep doing all of it at the same pace. It was a real, a real eye opener for me. Right, right. So are you a solo mom? I am not a solo mom. I have an amazing husband. Okay. Who I am so grateful that he supports me because I honestly can't imagine mm -hmm. how I would do it without him. So I have so much respect for the solo moms out there because there is, there's so much pressure. And I think especially what we put on ourselves. Um, and that's, that's yes. the hardest to overcome. Yes. Yes. So what do you have to say to this solo mom who, you know, she's, she's pushing, she's grinding as they say. 
And but at the same time, like I said before, on the one hand, you're grinding, you're pushing, you're performing, but on the other hand, you just feel not just overwhelmed, but you're so hard on yourself mm -hmm. mentally. So, so what do you say to that person? Yeah, I say stop doing all of the things because like the grind, we can get lost in it. We can just keep doing and keep pushing and we just think, okay, I can do it one more day. I can do it one more day, but we have to stop uh -huh. and we have to evaluate. There have to be things that you can say no to. And so what is it that you're doing that maybe you don't need to do anymore? You know, maybe you could slow down mm -hmm. in certain areas, but also just give yourself some grace. Like I'm a firm believer in obviously yeah. mindset because that's right. That was one of the first things you said about me is I focus a lot on that because so much of what we do, mm -hmm. the mindset that we go into it with sets the stage for how we perform in everything. And so if we can yeah. really focus on what are we thinking, how are we thinking about ourselves because that really sets the stage for every single day. Yes, that's true. Yes. And what are you grateful for today, Suzanne? Oh, I am grateful for so much. Um, but I want to say, um, you know, I'm just grateful for this, this life that I live. Like I really, truly love what I do. I love the people that I work with. Um, I'm just, I'm so grateful to be at this place in my life that, um, mm -hmm. you know, well past 30 and well past toddlers, my kids are now teenagers, um, and very much more self-sufficient, but still, you know, need their mom a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just grateful for this stage in my life. I really am enjoying it. Okay. Okay. Thanks for sharing. That's good. So tell us about your work. Um, you're a CPA or you're a practicing CPA? Yes, I still am a practicing CPA and I'm also okay. a mindset and productivity coach. So, so yeah, what I talk okay. about as far as mindset and productivity, like it's real for me every day because it, you know, it's one thing to be in a career or run a business with, with children. Um, I'm running two of them. So productivity is mm -hmm. always top of mind for me. And for me, it really comes comes down to being intentional in what your goals are and, you know, making really, really taking a holistic approach when it comes to goals and what we set out to do so that we're looking not only yes. at our career or our business, but also in life. Like what are our goals with our children? What are our goals personally that we want to, to overcome and, you know, making sure that all of those really align with where we want to be and not, you know, focusing so strongly on one that we kind of lose balance on the mm -hmm. other side. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's important. And I, I heard someone poo poo work-life balance, but it's very important. Yeah, I think, you know, I think work-life balance yeah. is a term that's kind of been thrown around, like, since I started my career. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I kind of love it and hate it, right? Like, I think so many of the women that I'm talking to, they're like, oh, I just, I need more balance or I want more balance. And I know I've said that myself as well. But I think we have to be careful about how we think about balance because so often, you know, we think mm -hmm. of balancing a scale and the things should be even, you know, and that's really not the yeah. case. It's really about focusing yeah. on, you know, what is most important to you. And one of the things that comes up for me is, you know, we can talk all day about what, you know, in our career, in our life, what's most important, but guess what happens when you have a sick kid, everything else stops mm. and you take care of the sick kid True. as it should be. True. But I think those are the times that we really stop and reevaluate and go, wait a minute. Am I doing the things that are really the most important? I think, honestly, when COVID hit, that was one of the biggest things for many of us was going, wow, this pace of life that we've been doing. And now all of a sudden, we've taken a step back, mm -hmm. we're all at home, all of the activities shut down for a while. And I think that was a big eye opener for many people to really really yes. think, you know what? I miss that family time. I miss, you know, just that, just that quality family time with our kids around the dinner table together all at the same time. We were all of a sudden kind yes. of, you know, blessed with some of that time together. And I think that is, it provides a really good way and time for us to reflect and refocus on what's most important. 
Yes, it's it's really funny re- because all the things, all the time we thought our job was important and going to work was that important and the grind was important. Yeah. And all of a sudden it was taken away from us. You know, for a lot of people, it was taken away from them. And there were the other people who said, wait a minute here. I don't, I don't really need to do all of that. Right. So, you know, the mindset again, unfortunately, we have to be forced into it. But right. I'm guessing that's how life works is that if we don't if we don't do what we're supposed to do, something will make us. Yeah. In yeah. your case, you felt you felt the overwhelm. Yeah, yeah, very true. There is. It's like we can only yeah. do it for so long and something will get in the way. And maybe it's, you know, like for many people, maybe it was COVID. For me, it was before that. It was just I was so yeah. exhausted. My body was tired. My brain was tired. And I just came to that moment. Yes. It's like something, something has to shift. And actually it was at that time yes. that I had attended a conference. And one of the things that I heard, probably the only thing I really remember from that conference, because it spoke so deeply to me, was every time you say yes to something, you say no to something else. And I probably should know mm-hmm. who said it because it's so impacted my life. But it's true. We have to really be intentional mm-hmm. on our no so that we can truly focus yeah. on what we want to say yes to. Yes. It reminds me of what Tony Robbins says that where, where focus go, energy flows. Yes. So it's where your, your mind is that, you know, expands, right? Yes, that is absolutely true. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, do you practice self care and what does that look like for you? Mm, that's a good question. Yes. I think that is so important, but yet as women, it's always the first thing to go, right? When we think we don't have enough mm-hmm. time, we don't have enough money, we don't have enough resources. What's the first thing we say no to? Well, ourselves, right? <laughs> but yes, yes, I do I do practice self-care. For me, uh, that looks like my morning routine. Uh, I'm a firm believer in mm-hmm. doing small things every day that really have huge impact. And for me, that's in the mornings. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to get up I like to get up really early, kind of before anybody else in the house, while it's still quiet. I like to get ready for work early. I like to have some really good coffee, sit with a devotional, or just kind of have some quiet time before I start my day. And that really helps fill me up and be the best version of myself. Um, and so that, yes. yeah, that has been really important for me. And different seasons of my life. It's looked like different things. You know, I've, I've, I used to love exercising in the morning. I've shifted to now, um, I might work out in the afternoons instead. Um, you know, some, there's been some seasons where it was different, right? When my kids were little, like it's hard to get like mm-hmm. a really good morning routine in. But one of the things that I like to tell yes. women is like, don't, don't be set on like having a, an hour or two hours or something big and extravagant. Right. It can be small. It could be five or 10 minutes just on one thing that mm-hmm. you can do for yourself. Um, I've been working with a woman recently. She started, she's like, I would, I just want to read a motivational quote to start my day. Like I just want one little thing. And so she started doing that and it's changed her whole perspective on her day. Yes. Yes. It's that two millimeter, right? Yes. A two milli- millimeter shift. Yes. Right. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> and how can we get in touch with you? Yeah, uh, I, I am on LinkedIn. You can find me at S. Stutzel Coaching or Susan Stutzel. And also my website is okay. www.sstutzelcoaching.com. Um, I put regular blog posts out there with just additional information to just support support the women out there that are trying to do all the things. Okay. And then tell me, um, what you offer. You, you are your coach. Um, tell us about that. Yeah. Tell us about, so I, I primarily give, do, give me your pitch. Yeah. <laughs> I primarily do one-on-one coaching and I like okay. to really tailor my coaching to the individual need. But I also believe that that starts with defining your personal definition of success. And so when you look at what does success look like to me, and I do that based on different steps, look at, you know, what is that long-term vision for your future? In addition to what's the legacy you want to leave, you know, with your kids, how do you want them 
to see you, to remember you, and what does that look like? In addition to, you know, going all the way down to, yeah, the two millimeters, like what's that incremental improvement that you can start today, the daily habits that you can develop. And so my coaching is around that definition of success and then working through that. So weekly or biweekly meetings mm -hmm. to really support the women with the goals that they have to truly make the lasting change that they desire. Okay, cool. I like that. So you, you provide the surveys, but you also hold our hands um, yeah. by having these um, weekly or biweekly calls. I like that. I think I think that's very good. Yeah, the you know the accountability okay. piece is just it's it's so key in our in our development and the success of the habits that we set out to do. When someone else is asking mm -hmm. us about it, we're so much more likely <laughs> to do it than if we just say, yeah. "Oh yeah, I'm going to start that next week." Yeah, <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Suzanne, for coming and talking with me today. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. Just thank you so much for having me. And just for all the women out there, you are already amazing. Don't forget to tell yourself that every day and just create one habit that could change your life. All right. Thank you very much. I love that.